Uh, Ugandan troops will stop 40 kilometers outside Juba. The government says they have clear orders not to engage in fighting, only to evacuate Ugandan citizens. For now, the assessment suggests that the road between Nisitu to Juba, which is about 40 kilometers, is safe and therefore Ugandans, obviously we expect the government of South Sudan and UNAMIS to provide safety exit for Ugandans and other people who would want to exit, particularly via Uganda. South Sudan has been Uganda's leading export destination since 2008. However, the renewed conflict has halted all trade activities. It is very unfortunate that uh, this conflict has re-erupted because trade had started uh, normalizing and some people had already gone back. And you could see that even downtown, trade was, was booming. Exports to South Sudan include cereals, maize flour, wheat, sugar, steel, cement and beverages. However, Uganda's trade ministry says the value of these exports has dropped from about $1.2 billion in 2008 to just $350 million in 2015. It's prompting Uganda to look elsewhere for trading partners. I know South Sudan has been highly uh, lucrative, but let us start looking at other areas under Commissar. Start looking at Kenya, 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 Tanzania, Burundi. Burundi also had some issues, but at least it's accessible. People can go in. For now, however, the government's immediate concern is the safety of its citizens. 30 army trucks will evacuate Ugandan nationals by road along eastern South Sudan to the Nimule border point. Those trapped in other parts of Juba have been advised to seek shelter at the Ugandan embassy. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.